we're out here in Swift Current at the Swift Current store checking out a bunch of fent tractors. Just heading home uh, for the night, gonna sleep up and then be here bright and early in the morning to get you guys some videos. Here they are, three 1100 series and one 700 series. But let's look at these big guys, holy. <laughs> but if we crawl up here and look at the air intake, it's actually up high at the top. And then this is kind of weird. I don't know what this piece of poly or something is um, it doesn't actually allow the fan all the air to flow back to the engine I don't know exactly why but and so now this is the main reason why these uh, bent two tracks are in here is not only the PDI but we're actually spacing these tracks out so this one we can see how big the gap is. That's because we've already spaced out the tracks. And that's the main reason why they're, they're in here right now. Now we're just lifting up the front. But wow, <laughs> I love this. Look how sweet these things look. The three 1100s and then this 700 series. But now if we take a look at the back of these two tracks, we can see that this one doesn't have a PTO, all the hydraulics, but no PTO. Um, this customer didn't want a PTO on this unit. And the next one beside it also has no PTO, but the far one has a PTO. So just some different options that customers wanted. So to spread these tracks out a little bit, they actually have to take it's kind of a tar like material on here and they'll take it off with a blade, loosen up some bolts on the front and the back. They have a special tool that goes bolts to here and here and they load this up with dish soap, have all of it lifted off the ground and that tool pulls those tracks out. Here's a look of it without that tar on it. And there's what got scraped off. And then getting all their tools hooked on and set up.
looks weird without those front weights on them. That's a lot of weight off the ground. <laughs> But if we look up here, we can see how much airflow is actually going into the, well, how much airflow is required for, for these tractors. And even all the way like down to the side, it's, it's actually, <laughs> it's pretty cool, it's wild. That's a lot of horses under there. So now here's something actually pretty cool that that piece of plastic it actually um, saves the paint on the inside of the rim for when chaff is swirling around and around that pulls it out uh, just that little piece stops from the chaff sitting in there and when it twirls around that actually pulls the chaff out saves the inside of the paint on the rim But then I love those LEDs up there. And on the inside of the rim too, you can see there's also that little piece of plastic. But those LEDs way up there, they, they look good, especially at nighttime. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> And now they're just going to do a calibration with the GPS. <laughs> <laughs> 